went outside before he heard me. Marco, Marco come, come in. in! Hey, Willow. Hey, Chester. See any cool sea creatures approaching? I'm ready for my close-up. I think I see something over there. Oh, yeah. It looks like a whale. It's pretty big, too. I think I better go back to the polar marine. Basking shark approaching. Basking shark? Ah! Wait, Bulls, wait! It's okay. Basking sharks are not dangerous. But his mouth is wide open. And it's coming this way. Whoa! Don't worry. The basking shark swims with a wide open mouth so it can eat plankton. There are the teeny tiny plants and animals that you can find everywhere in the ocean. Huh? Oh, nice! Wow! Okay, basking shark, say plankton! Nope, too blurry. Wait, basking shark, come back! I need to take a better one! Shark approaching. Yes! The basking shark is back! This one isn't a basking shark. Its mouth isn't as big. Then what kind is it? Audrey, we need a closer look. <gasps> a a great, great white shark. shark! The biggest predator shark there is. You mean the kind that eats sea lions, fish, and seals? I'm coming in! I have an idea. Why don't we give you a hand? I'm swimming as fast as I can! Thanks, Willow. Thanks, everyone. Hey, Marco. Great white sharks have five rows of long, sharp teeth. Close to 300 teeth in total. Great white sharks are cool and all, but I don't need to see their teeth that close. Sorry you didn't get the shark picture you wanted, Marco. Not yet I haven't, but I will in a few seconds. Really? How? With my camera that I left outside. Everyone say, Great White Shark! Great White Shark! Now that's Apollo's picture. <laughs> and it smells like... Oh. Rotten fish. We're on a whale! Oh, Ew. gross. Disgusting. What is this stuff? This stuff, Gorby, is mucus. What's mucus? This stuff, Gorby, the same green stuff that comes out of your nose. Whale boogers? Ew. Uh-oh. Whales don't need to surface for long to breathe. They shut their blowhole and then dive back underwater. Inside, everybody. Whales are humongous. <gasps> Whale song! Wow! It's so loud. That's so the whale can be heard by other whales from far away. <sighs> I really hope it'll sing with us. Let's find out. Hello, we are the Polos. And we'd be honored if we could record you singing with us. You and your baby, how cute.
tricks make a melody It sounds just like a song to me The song could be a warning or a friendly hello High like a turbo or way down low It's a language only whales can speak Sounds like a song to me Control. Though I think all that bumping did some damage. Audrey, what's her status? Hopscotch, mountain top, shindig valley. Yep, definitely some damage. But it's nothing I can't fix. Okay, which tools am I gonna need? A screwdriver? A wrench? Or whatever this thing is. Thanks, guys, but I got this. Beach time polos, you play, I'll stay. Yay! Yay! <laughs> you say so. Uh, okay, goes there. Polo's a great engineer, but what if she can't fix the polo boat? <gasps> we'll all be stuck here forever! Forever! Stay calm, Chester. Get your mind on something else. <laughs> I got it! Oh, a beach ball! I love beach balls! <laughs> this engine is totally seized. It needs a top to bottom rebuild. I found some spare parts below deck. I was saving these to build a dancing robot, but I can do that next week. Ready, Gorby? I got it! I got it! I, I don't got it. <laughs> Yay! Wow! Ah. Oh, the wind's really starting to blow. Ah, the ball! Ah. All that clanking tells me you don't think any of these will make the engine work again. <sighs> nope, we need something else to get the polo boat moving. I wish the wind would stop. I don't. I'm having an engineering moment. Wow, a sail made out of palm leaves. That's brilliant, Willow. Thanks. Seeing the wind push those leaves around gave me the idea that a whole bunch of leaves could catch a whole bunch of wind to push our boat. The wind will press on the sail and make it puff out. This force will push the pull boat forward, and I'll use these levers to steer. Then it's Bye Bye Island. find a way to help. Help, help, Totals! Clean, clean up! Nash is right. We need to do something about this garbage. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. It's cleanup time. I'll get the polo marine. Moko, go there! Over there? Can't do. Lily, that way. That way? I'm on it. Chester, Chester! Come here! Huh? Chester, he's saying, come with me! Aha! Aha! Why can everyone understand Nash but me? I don't know! <laughs> Everybody clean up, clean up! Everybody clean up, clean up! Get the mess gone, get your clean on! Everybody clean up! Great big world 
with a big responsibility And if we work together we can keep our planet clean But the very best way you can help Is to pick up after yourself Then let's go be a clean up team Everybody clean Ocean's a big place, and there's still lots of it to clean up. But we did a great job here, especially you, Nash. Yeah, we're really proud of you. And Nash, now I hope you understand the importance of cleaning up after yourself. Changing to Polo Marine mode. And down we go! Hey, it says here that the ocean has different zones that get different amounts of sunlight. Right now, we're in the topmost zone, called the sunlit zone. Plenty of sunlight can reach this area, but the deeper we go down, the darker it gets. Below the sunlit zone is the twilight zone. Here, a little sunlight can reach. And below that, deep, deep down, is a midnight zone. Light can't reach here at all, so it's completely dark. Wow! It's getting really dark. And we're here. Uh, it's kind of spooky. I'll turn the headlights on. Whoa! What is that? A rat tail fish. It's named that because of its really long tail fin. In the deep ocean, only plants and animals that can survive extreme pressure live here. And most of them look very unusual. Ooh, like that creature. Yes, that's a type of sea slug called a nudibranch. It's cool, but I don't see Nash's dolphin. Ooh, what's that thing? What is it? Wow! Jellyfish! <gasps> and they're glowing! When a creature can make its own light, it's called bioluminescence. It's very useful when there's no sunlight around. Lucky! Dolphin! <gasps> Nash, you found it! The glow from the jellyfish helped you see where your toy landed. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Nash. All right. We got it. Yeah, nice. Nice good work, work, Willow. Dolphin. Here you go, Nash. Good as new. <sighs> Wait. Just a little soggy still. <laughs> of pictures. Okay, I'm done. Seagulls? Oh, this is bad. Seagulls are predators of baby sea turtles. Predators? You mean they want to eat it? But it just hatched. He's helpless. Poor turtle, poor turtle, poor turtle. Poor turtle, poor turtle, grab it. Put it in the water ourselves. Huh? Nash says he wants us to pick it up and bring it to the sea ourselves. That's a great idea! Yay! Nash, wait! In nature, it's best to let creatures do things by themselves. We should only pick them up if there's no other way to help them. <sighs> Go away, Sigurd! 
If we could scare them off, it could give the turtle time to get back to the water. But what are seagulls scared of? Caterpillars? Thunder? Broccoli? Aha! Uh -huh. Seagulls are afraid of hawks. So we'll make hawk sounds. They sound like... Um, uh, I don't know about hawks, but your farm animal impressions are great, Gorby. Here's what a hawk sounds like. Nash, we need to be way louder to scare them. I've got an idea! Audrey, play the hawk sound through the polar boat speakers as loud as you can. Raising volume to maximum. Nash, now would be a perfect time for a picture. All right, let's take some photos. <laughs> of the sea turtle, I meant. <laughs> <laughs> 